Okay, what's up guys? So I'm gonna do the um, the shading with the pastels. I already uh, painted uh, Storm's uh, mohawk with the color white. Uh, I also did the, um, the face, I painted it. So, yeah, I don't know how the auto focus is going on here, but, well, anyway. So you take one of these, um, really pointy q-tips right and the color I, I chose is um, this one right here it's the lightest blue that I could uh, see here it's it's not like a blue it's more like a greenish blue light blue like a sky I wanted a, a really light blue like a sky blue but this is like the closest thing to it so I'm gonna use this color right here all right so Let's see, I'm gonna take some of the pastel and get, get it on the tip of the Q-tip. So these pastels are really, really soft. So it should make the job easier. So, I guess I should just follow. Maybe I should have put a varnish. It's the first time I, I'm doing this. So, as you can see, you can start putting in the kind of hard to talk and do same time Try to get into those little cracks. I'm using a magnifying glass so I can see the, all the little details. The Mohawk has a lot of detail, so... Seems to be working, so it just takes time to cover all the little hair strings. So I used to do this with the airbrush, uh, I would just put the, the first coat light blue and then go over it with white. So I think uh, this way, um, if you don't have an airbrush, you can do it and it comes out just as nice and you have more control 
over where the blue strands go. And also, if you don't have an airbrush, um, you can make it look like you have an airbrush with this uh, trick, this technique. Um, also, the end result is really nice. It's really nice and um, I really recommend it because I did it on a Ultron torso and it came out so nice I was like wow this is it's a really nice technique um, I don't take up too much time so the trick the trick is that after you're done you can't touch this with your fingers that's why I have it on this little clip holding it not just for control or where I put the blue but uh, it helps because if you put your fingers on it you're gonna get right away the chalk is gonna come off and you kind of ruin the ruin the paint job so what you do is you take the varnish and um, spray it on and the varnish melts the blue away not totally and blends it with the white it looks like an airbrush job like if you used an airbrush which is really nice and that's the whole trick of this uh, you can paint your Marvel Legends like this use this trick and um, it would be really nice so this is my second time you doing this trick and um, starting to come out really nice Yeah, um, you can see right there that's uh, not painted and that is right there so it's taking longer than I thought it would um, usually I don't do tutorial videos but this is the first time so Please be patient because I'll probably have to get up and go get the spray. I don't think I should make it that long. Um, let's see, maybe I can take some of this blue right here. Let's just see what happens. So now what I did is I took a darker blue. I'm using a different Q-tip. And I'm doing some deeper. Deeper um, shading. And it looks like it's working. It's really nice. Hope this comes out good, guys. Um, so, I think I'm almost done with this side. Definitely taking longer than I thought it would. Go back to the other color. Dun, dun. This is a song stuck in my head. 
was watching Westworld. So, what else is up? So I'm making a storm and um, I'm doing some digital painting. I think that um, sketching and painting is a lot of fun because you can, whatever you imagine, you can make it, make it so. Um, but I can't, I can't um, decide what I like more, um, drawing or sculpting. Just is really hard for me trying to figure out which one I should do. That's coming out nice. Let's see. So let's do the other, the other side. I'll try to do it faster. So buy these Q-tips. They're like um, two bucks. I recommend buying the Tamiya ones because the Tamiya products are so good. Um, you get them on eBay for like seven bucks, in including shipping. And um, these I got at the pharmacy for like three dollars. So. I just didn't want to wait for something from Japan. It takes kind of long, it takes like two or three weeks. So, but um, either way they work. So it doesn't matter what you use, but if you can get the Tomino ones, I, I guarantee you they'll probably be a little better. Um, okay, yeah, I'm definitely doing this faster now. So, um, so the cool thing about this storm is she's going to be the best looking storm I've done yet because I'm using oils, right, for the makeup. So the makeup, <clears throat> the eyeshadow is going to be really nice. It's going to be smoky black around her eyes, which is a really hard thing to do, right? Um, because first of all, the scale is so small, right? So when you do it with acrylics, um, I don't know. I just never thought uh, acrylics would be great for doing makeup, except for the lips and the eyeliner around the eyes. But there is that really nice um, eyeshadow, smoky makeup that women use. And since acrylics are not good for that, um, the best thing is oils. So I started experimenting with oils and I did some. All you have to do is take a really small brush and apply it, and and um, yeah. It, 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 the only bad thing about oils is that you have to wait like two days or three days for them to dry, and then you spray on the varnish. But the thing is, it looks so much better because it blends so much nicer. That um, it's, it's just it's, it's a must-have if you're like a perfectionist. Like if you want to make the nicest job, you know, use oils. We'll use oils for, for blending. So the trick is first, you use acrylics, right? For the base colors and all that. If you have an airbrush, even better. And then you seal it with a varnish, right? Like a flat coat or, or a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A shiny coat, right? And then after that's dry, you're ready for, for the weather, weathering, right? So then the weathering, you can use oils. Oils are the best. And then when, you're, when you finish weathering it, you seal it again with another coat of um, flat varnish. And, um, and then it looks super, super nice. Now there's a lot of, um, a lot of people out there on YouTube that can teach you how to use the oils. 
just go on YouTube and type like weathering oils model kits and uh, boom right there you'll see a bunch of people who use them and they're beautiful man like I see some dudes like the, um, the kit builders who do Bandai like Star Wars kits or Gundams and they do these beautiful beautiful weathering um, on um, on their pieces or whatever they're working on and um, yeah that's how you get to learn these things that's how I learned them just watching YouTube so okay so the video is almost over so what I'm gonna do is look for the can because I didn't prepare myself right for this. Um, look for the can and um, spray it and then I'll show it to you how it looks. It's gonna look all wet and then I'm gonna use a hair dryer to dry it really fast. Cause um, that's a trick, another trick you can use when you apply the varnish, you use a hair dryer and um, and make it dry really fast. So, thing is that the, the varnish smells really bad. These chemicals, they're not so good. Um, so one of the tricks is if you use the hair dryer, it'll dry faster and it'll not um, fumigate your whole house with uh, harmful vapors. So. So let's see, let's do the bottom here and I think we're done. Um, it's the first time I paint her mohawk this way. Usually I just use the airbrush. Um, Estoy haciendo un video. Someone just came in, so. All right, so I'm almost done. Um, I hope this comes out nice. The um, the old way I used to do it with the airbrush is just acrylic blue and then on top acrylic white, right? And the problem is that when you use the airbrush, uh, when you're working on these figures, right, these uh, six inch figures, they're so tiny that it is kind of hard to do all the waves all the strands of the airbrush because it's this is a small little piece you know <clears throat> so it's annoying it's like kind of hard and um so i think this technique is really cool um almost done here guys and um you guys can do it all you do is get um the same pastels that i got or you can use other pastels. I recommend these because they're softer, so they're easier to scrape on. That's what I'm basically doing, scraping along the surface of the, of the um, piece here. You get the pastels and you get the varnish, which is like six bucks or seven bucks on, YouTube, on, on eBay, on YouTube. And you just do one step and two step, right? You apply the, the chalk, and then you apply the varnish and that's it. So you don't have to be a pro to do this. You can do it just with a Q-tip. I recommend the pointy Q-tips. They're the best. The other Q-tips are good too. So. Um, The problem was, um, this is kind of funny. When I ordered the pastels, I got them for like $8, which was amazing. I was like, wow, this is a great deal. And then the picture, you see like 68 colors, right? And you see the box and it's like, it looks like a big box. So you're like, wow, this is a great fucking deal, you know? And then when you get the box at home, it's like this tiny little box with these tiny little pastels. So I hope that, that they don't, waste but I, I it's i really doubt it because the only reason i i bought them is for shading so it's not like i'm going to use them for 
for anything else. But they're really um, inexpensive. They're seven, seven, eight bucks. <coughs> um, and the varnish is like eight bucks too. So it's a sweet deal, man. You can you can paint your um, your Marvel Legends really nicely for like the cost of almost nothing. You have like almost a professional job. Um, look at that. And that, that came out all right, man. That ain't so bad. All right, so, so now I'm gonna spray the varnish. So I'm gonna get the varnish, show you the can, so you'll know what to buy. And then I'm gonna spray it, and I'm gonna stop talking and get it. All right, so you get this can, you shake it really well. This is the one I use, you can use Tamiya, you can use Mr. Hobby. This is the one I use, it's called, um, as long as it's flat, you know, or glossy, whatever you want. Um, you shake it. I'm gonna spray it. I can't spray it right here because um, I just get all over my stuff, so I'll spray it. That's my dog, Michael. Okay, so, oops, sorry. So I just sprayed it. So right now the, the gloss, I mean the flat base is blending everything in. It's like a chemical reaction. It smells really bad. So I'm gonna use a hair dryer. And just dry it. Right, this stuff really smells bad, so do it outside. I'm just doing this for a tutorial in, inside, but uh, I don't use any editing software, so and it's kind of funny because I used to use editing software. If you look at my videos from a long time ago, I would put effects in them because I, I did study um, 3D um, stuff, so I knew how to do all these kind of things, all these tricks on a computer. And um, I used to do these videos with these freaking crazy effects, man, that no one else did in YouTube for their figures. I used to think that um, I was going to make a lot of money <laughs> on YouTube, so I was going all out, man. I was making like special effects, stop motion, and all these crazy things. But um, yeah, it didn't really work out, so I, I'm just doing this for fun right now. You know? It's almost dry. I can't put the dryer on high because then you won't hear me. And for some reason when I put it on high, it turns off. I don't know why. I think I need a new dryer. So. No, I'm, I'm kidding. It's just that when you plug the, dry, the dryer into some outlet, like an extension cord, it, it, it sucks up so much energy, it turns off the, the hair dryer. It's like a fail safe to, to system, fail safe. So, there's no um, outlet near me right now, so I have to use an extension, so that's why I can't put it on high. Um, it's almost dry, completely dry, I mean. It's 
So what else? Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna be putting on the makeup on the next video, and uh, so I'm gonna put the black um, smoky makeup around Storm's eyes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna record that. That won't be so long like this one because um, it's a, it's a, it's a lot less work. Um, so that's the next video that's coming up. She's gonna, she's gonna look really nice, man. Like, so nice. <clears throat> um, man, I'm, I'm really excited about getting that new cable. And the uh, cyborg, um, Deflock. I really like Deflock man, for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, since I have a Red Skull figure, I was thinking, man, what should I get to go along with Red Skull? I'm gonna get a Captain America and all that. And then I was like thinking maybe I should get like a, like a squadron of Deathlocks and, and have Red Skull like lead, be the leader or something. I don't know. Cause I, I just don't like the Hydras. I don't know for some reason I just don't like the Hydras. So I don't I don't I, don't, I never got one of those Hydra soldiers. Even though one of them that had the expression with the mouth open would look really nice. Um. Yeah. So I'm really excited about Cable and the new uh, X-Men figures that are coming out, so definitely gonna get those. Um, whoa, I'm gonna do a Beast one of these days. That's gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, it's dry, I think. All right, so it's almost completely dry. It would have been completely dry a long time ago, but I can't put this dryer on fast. High setting, I mean. All right, so just gonna finish up this tutorial. She came out really nice. The hair came out really nice. Look at. So her t-shirt is gonna be white with blue shading on it and um,